Marieke. I'm Teddy's owner. I'm 28 years old and I live in Amsterdam. We have Teddy now for a couple of weeks. He's a midi poodle and uh, he comes from uh, Limburg where his previous owner was allergic to him. So they had to replace him. And uh, luckily for us, we could pick up Teddy. Hi guys, I'm Jelle, I'm my biggest boyfriend and Teddy's other owner or dog father. <laughs> um, I'm 28 years old, I don't live in Amsterdam, so I come over most of the times in the weekends to visit Abika and Teddy. We're gonna film all Teddy's adventures, so stay tuned for more. You wanna play again? You wanna play? After six months of waiting, asking, it was finally the time. We were going to see a real poodle puppy in real life. When we came in, he directly came to us. He was so small, soft and fluffy. It was love at first sight. It felt like he immediately knew that we were going to be his new boss, his new forever home. Oh cute, I knew it directly too. He was going to come with us. Because the search was so difficult, there were a lot of weird breeders out there or people who were selling dogs and they don't know anything about it or were willing to pay a lot of money for a poodle puppy. But we were really lucky with Teddy. Teddy was replaced because his previous owner was allergic to him, so he needed to find a new home. Therefore, we had a chance to get to know each other. Such a cliche, but you just know it when it's right. And, very important, he loves yellow too. As Teddy was already old enough to go to his forever home, I just had three days to prepare for everything. So I just bought all the important things, like a bank, a harness, a leash, some toys. Those were ready in. The rest will come later on. Tea day, dog day, time to pick up Teddy. I brought my mom, the dog expert. And when arriving, Teddy directly jumped on my lap. Felt like he missed us already and he really wanted to come home to Amsterdam with us. So the final checks. His passport has to come with all of his injections and other important health stuff from the vet. And also his current puppy kibble is coming with us, which is quite important because everything is going to be new for them, new home, new people, new environment. So their puppy kibble should stay the same in order to prevent them from cramps of course, after a couple of weeks of adjusting, you can always switch of kibble. Time to say goodbye. I put on his new harness and leash. He has no idea how to walk on a leash. It's his first time. He wants to go back on my lap. But it's time, little Teddy. Say goodbye to the breeder. A final goodbye and kiss because she's going to miss you. And let's go to your forever home. So much pressure, walking on a leash, saying goodbye, even the other dogs are helping Teddy to get through the door. As most puppies, for the first time, they have no clue what to do with the leash. One step forward, two steps back. After a couple of minutes of going back and forth, he was asking me to help him. No worries, little Teddy. Mama will come and help you. We'll practice walking on a leash another time. from Limburg to Amsterdam. Quite exciting though, so we took some precautions. It's okay if he has a little accident in the car. Here we go! Finally, here we are. His first steps in Amsterdam. Mom, can you help me with the stairs? Finally upstairs. Let's start the investigation. Let's sniff, 
Sniff, sniff. who will capture all of Teddy's adventures. I can't wait for him to grow. How tall do you think he will grow? Teddy is finally home. See you soon!